I got to admit, I'm a little confused here with these little retro emulation setups straight from China, right off of Amazon type of thing. Uh, Ken Hank usually hits me up and sends me products to check out. And you guys know I've been brutally honest with these things, but I've complained before with them because I'll have a bunch of people saying they're from Ken Hank communicating with me and it gets confusing. And I received both of these around the same time and I was like, what are these? I don't even remember talking about this. And looking at the emails, I seen that I was communicating with a couple different people from Ken Hank over this one. So I don't, I don't know who sent this. But we'll get to the bottom of it. I think it might be a very similar device. We're going to check this one out today. It's supposed to have like over 100,000 games on it. Little dongle you plug into your TV and you've got some retro games going on. The little screenshots of the UI that I saw, it looked pretty cool. But they said uh, the name has changed a couple times. You see it doesn't even, it doesn't even have the name on it. Of what they told me it just has some dude gamers a little cool dude gamers oh my god original 3d rocker special game rocker high sensitivity anti-skid you ain't getting those skid marks here dude um but they said this is the the ken hank super console x2 game stick it used to be called something else and now this is a new version i don't freaking know man product features double handheld <laughs> yeah Okay, TV output. Um, let's just plug this thing in. It says CPU GB2. I don't know what that is. RAM DDR3 256 megabytes. Uh, yeah, we're we're not really gonna be in it to win it. I don't think like power wise, but we'll have to see how how clean is the setup. Um, and what is it capable of doing? So we're gonna do that real quick. Oh wow, it's like a whole little console right there, man. Does this thing need power? Yeah, you got to plug it in uh, HDMI, boom, right into the TV and then power. I hope it has like an extender. It's got a thick ma manual, very thick. See like the uh, the UI, I seen some of these images and it seems similar to like Pandora's box. So I went ahead, got this thing plugged in. Didn't want to spend too much time on the unboxing. It did come with a extender, so I got it plugged in and with power. One USB dongle for the two included PS2 style controllers. These are a little more shittier than the ones that they normally give with these types of consoles. They're always this style, but these just seem a bit more cheaper. They don't have like a switch on them. The little lights on there. Um, I don't know. I was pressing mode trying to turn it on. Nothing would turn on. I just had to fiddle around with it. But let's check this out. So no music playing or anything. A fairly simple build. I swore they said that there was like 100,000 games. Maybe I misread. But it looks like if these numbers are correct, there's almost 13,000 games, which is still respectable. Still, you know, a lot of games, right? Now, is there a ton of duplicates? I don't know. I haven't looked yet. Like, so far, it doesn't look too bad. Like, you have Mark II of uh, 1943, and then the Battle of Midway. Uh, you have multiple versions, but not duplicates in the typical sense so far. That's just the first page, though. If we keep going, I, I don't know. Like, it doesn't seem too bad so far. But with 13,000 games, you might find a few duplicates. It's usually when you're in those 100,000 plus where most of the, the, the list is, like, filled out with duplicates in multiple regions, right? So far, this doesn't look too bad. But I'm not going to scroll through freaking every single page. But it, it does look all right so far. I would rather, because this is just in some kind of order, alphabetical, so far. Um, I don't know what consoles everything is. I mean, I know what I'm looking at when I get there, but if we hit R1, we can go to the class of the system. It says class right there. MAME, Famicom, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Mega Drive, Super Famicom, PS1, and Atari. That's our options here. This thing is definitely not powerful enough for Dreamcast or anything like that. I would hope PS1 would work, so we're going to jump into that immediately. Try to find something here. Oh, let's see if this runs. Okay, so here we go. Uh, PS1, a little audio stuttering here and there, but not too bad. But this is stretched the hell out. Some people like to stretch it out. And that's their business, but me, I want to play in the original aspect ratio. And unfortunately, this system doesn't seem to have that option available. Or at least when I looked real quick, it didn't. 
But I mean, this is running okay. It's just a little choppy on the audio in a few mo you know, a few spots here and there. Yeah, you have uh, save states and load states, but no um, options here to change anything. And then we can go to settings all the way over here, but there's nothing. Software version looks like it came out in uh, this year. So, okay. But yeah, there, there's no options. There's no options for uh, visuals to take off the uh, weird blurring or, you know, smoothing effects or shrink down the aspect ratio. We got none of that. Okay, so I just clicked on Mortal Kombat 2. It's a Japanese version of PS1 game. And that, that's what happened. Loading. And then right back to the game select screen. Ah, trilogy. Let's try that. <laughs> okay, they got things mixed up here a little bit, it appears. I, I, I'm not good at this game, but, uh, you know, I know some basic moves, you know. But you know what? The controls are actually mapped properly from, from uh, my experience playing this game before. So, that's a good thing. Yeah, look. A little Mega Drive audio doesn't sound good. You know, for a system, any system, um, to run Sega Genesis or, you know, Mega Drive sluggishly is just, it's a sinful act. You know what I mean? Like, either the system's just not powerful enough or just not properly set up. Like, it's like, I can hear the music, like, it's almost like it's so slow, then it catches up. Yeah, that, that was just going to make my ears bleed, man. Let's go to, like, Sonic the Hedgehog, see if we have better luck with that. Gotta go fast, possibly slow. Sonic 2 Delta, so they got they got some hacks, a lot of hacks. There is a lot of hacks out there for Sonic 2, but holy crap. Where's just the normal Sonic 2? <laughs> what the frick is going on with this Booty ass system. Oh my God, dude. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, man. This is what I'm going to tell you. Whatever this thing costs, I have no idea. I would imagine it should be pretty cheap. But whatever this thing costs, instead of buying something like this, get a Raspberry Pi. Even get a Raspberry Pi 2. A Raspberry Pi 3. A 4. Whatever you could find and afford. Get a RetroPie build. Could play everything that's available on this. Actually perfect. Perfect. And have a ton of options for customizations. This is garbage, man. I don't... I'm... Man. Maybe this is the good one. Maybe this is the good one. Stay tuned for that. We'll test this one out next. This box does feel a little heavier. Look at that controller. Like, that looks fancy. The Y6. This one has caveats too. Like you'll choke on it. We'll check that one out in the next video. This one, a big fat ass pass. Garbage. Bye.